Hello lovelies, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be making solid perfume using a few easy ingredients and I'm going to be filling them in my vintage solid perfume necklaces and mini compacts. So let's jump right in and have a look at my solid perfume collection. Hello lovelies, since you all loved my vintage dusting powder video, I thought it'd be fun to do another DIY vintage inspired. So I have a collection of these vintage solid perfume necklaces. I've been holding on to them for a while now and I've been wanting to make a solid perfume to go inside of them. So I have this really cool shell one with a gold chain. I think some of these are like 70s. Some of them are still filled with perfume and some of them aren't. I'm gonna test maybe one or two right now. This is like a little pocket watch, but I think there's a chain you can put on top too for a necklace. Uh, the main one I'm really excited to try is this beautiful cameo one, which I love with like a long gold chain. And I'm just gonna remove the old solid perfume from this one and then sterilize it. And then I noticed that this one I think is quite pretty too. It's like double-sided, but it, the perfume went green. So I'm gonna try to remove that too and see if I can get that one out. And then I have this cute little elephant one. And this one's really pretty. So maybe I'll try to do this one too and see if I can clean it up and try. And then there's this cute little kind of ladybug. I'm not sure what brand this one is. And this one had a cute bird on it, but then the bird broke off, which I'm kind of bummed out about. This one's Max Factor. I think some other, I think this one might be Estee Lauder. It's like this little, yeah, Estee Lauder, Youth Do. I don't really like Youth Do, which I've mentioned several times on my videos, but it's all gross, so I could remove it. But I want to start small, so... I'm probably gonna start with the cameo necklace and maybe this one. So I'll have two necklaces and maybe the shell. I'm gonna sterilize a whole bunch in hot water. But first things first, I have to scrape out this one and maybe this one a little bit. And I'm just gonna show you the ingredients. You just need like a Pyrex one you can put in the microwave. Sometimes people use a double boiler or whatever, but I'm just using the Pyrex. I'm gonna try it in the microwave. And then you just need like beeswax pellets. These are pretty easy. And I think you only need a tablespoon of those. And you just need oil, like an almond oil or this oil. And this is only $10 at Whole Foods. So that's like the carrier oil. And then you just need an essential oil. And I love roses, so I'm gonna use the rose one. Hopefully it's pretty scented. So first things first, let's scrape out this and then I'll mix these together and then we'll start sanitizing. So I'm going to start by just scraping this one out. Well, I'm just going to do it right here on my table. And then I'm going to put it in boiling water just to kind of sanitize it. And get the old perfume out. It kind of has a little bit of a smell, but I think it's so old it kind of lost the scent. I just want to clean it out. Hopefully it'll be easy to pour it in here too. So that's one, it's pretty much clean. I'm assuming when I put it in the water, it will melt off all of the extra. And I'm kind of practicing with maybe like one or two necklaces cause I've never tried this formula before. And so I don't know how it's gonna turn out. So this is kind of like a test run. And I bought all these necklaces. I think I got them on eBay. Dude, this one's really gross. That means the metal tinged it. So maybe it's not as good quality because I know over time it can do that. It can like tint it. So I don't know if this one's gonna even come out, but I'm just gonna try my best. Cause it is kind of gross. So 
see if I can get most of it out. Gross. And the shell one's pretty much prepped, so I don't have to do much with that. That one's good to go. I'm just trying to see if there's any other ones. It's really hard to open things with my nails, to be honest. <laughs> Let's see if I can get this open. Ah, this one's good too. So I'm gonna just go ahead and put that in. I think that's enough for now. I'm gonna try four and then I can set these ones aside just as a test to see. So let's go ahead and boil these. Okay, so now that the water is boiling, I'm just gonna insert these in here to sanitize them. Hopefully it'll melt off the wax. Actually, I see it coming off. I'm just gonna leave this in for a few minutes. It's cool, I can see the, um, the green stuff coming off in the water, it's working. This shell one, I gotta... I'm gonna make sure the shell one stays open in there. let this boil for a few minutes. It's interesting, I can smell all the old perfume from the boiling water coming off. I can really smell it. I can see it like on the edge of the pot. So I think it is working to remove it. Actually, it smells quite stale actually because it's so old, but I think it's working. So I'm just gonna let it boil for a minute or so and then I'm just gonna fish them out and put them on a piece of paper towel. So I'm going to be doing the one tablespoon of the carrier oil. And you just pour it into your Pyrex. And then a one tablespoon of the beeswax pellets. And then I'm gonna go ahead to the microwave now and melt this together. And then afterwards, I'm gonna stir in the essential oil. So let's check back first and head over to the microwave. So I'm gonna put it in the microwave for two minutes. I figured less is more. Instead of burning it. So it looked like two minutes was a perfect amount. So I'm gonna add 15 drops of the essential oil. I'm probably gonna do even more. I really like things scented, like overly, and I don't want it to be not scented enough. I always do this. I just don't wanna like make it and then have it no scent. I think potentially you could add like actual perfume. That's kind of what I want to try next. Stop counting. Okay, I'll count now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I went a little bit overboard, but I, like I said, I want it to smell more like rose and not. Okay, that's probably too much. And now I'm just going to give it a quick stir. And now I have to carefully pour it in the locket. So I'm gonna start with this one. It worked boiling it. Definitely nervous because I don't wanna screw it up and like over pour it or spill it. So I'm just gonna be very careful. The 
make sure it's like on an even surface too. I don't want to overfill. So that one worked out. I'm gonna put that aside for now. This one's gonna be tricky because it's so small. Be very careful with this one because it's just a tiny little amount of solid perfume. Oh, shoot. See? Overfilled it. Oh no. It's already hardening. Um, I can probably scrape it off. And deal with that after if I just let it cool but yeah see it's just such a tiny little one it's like already hardening kind of had a feeling that would happen but I think I can fix it with just a little wooden tip and then I'm gonna do the last one it looks like I have a lot extra I wasn't sure how much it would make And this one's bigger, so I think this one will be a lot easier. I'm so disappointed I did that to the other one. But it's just so gentle. And you just kind of like slowly. See, now it's not even going to the edge over here because it's drying up very quickly and I want to pour it over to the end but I'm just so scared of it overflowing oh like the other one now I have a tiny bit left I'm trying to figure out what I can do with it because I don't want to waste it but I guess I could leave it in here and then put it back in the microwave that's what I'll do and I'll melt it up again and just put it aside for now because even when it hardens you can melt it again if you want to re-pour it so I'm going to go ahead and put these in the fridge for a few minutes and then I'll check back with you guys so I just took them out of the freezer and they are nice and solid. I feel like this one turned out really well. And it smells pretty good. It's not really strong, the scent, to be honest. I kind of want it to be even like more potent. So you could either put in more essential oils. This one's okay, but to be honest, I might do it again because I didn't get it all along the sides, so. I might just take it out and redo it because I'm a little bit disappointed in that one. And this one turned out pretty well, I think. I ended up cleaning it and fixing it. It's not like perfect or anything like that, but it ended up working. I find that the beeswax smell is quite strong. So I feel like it's overpowering the rose which is a little disappointing and I think I might because I could even take these out again I want to try putting like an actual perfume in there next time and doing like a whole bunch of sprays in the oil so I think I might do that because I think I can easily take these out and spray it a whole bunch with this is an Elizabeth Taylor gardenia perfume it's not too long lasting when you wear it but I have a lot of it so I kind of want to experiment with it, but I think it really worked in terms of the whole, I think it worked in terms of the whole process and once I rub it a bit, I think I can tell if it's strong enough, but I really had fun doing this. I guess at the end of the day, I want something like quite strong. I guess I just really like strong perfume when it comes down to it. And this one, the container kept like closing in the hot water so I couldn't completely clean it out and unfortunately the back came off so you have to be careful about putting vintage stuff in hot water. But I think I can easily glue that one back on so that's no problem. So I'm 
just need to find a way to keep it open when I leave it in the pot so I can clean it out properly. And I still have a few other solid perfumes, but I, I don't know, I really wanna try it with the actual perfume because when I smell this, I do smell the rose a little bit, but for the most part, all I smell is the beeswax. There's nothing really wrong with that, but I really want something a bit stronger. But I had a lot of fun doing this, and for the most part, I think it really worked out, and I'm excited now that I know how to do it, and I can maybe buy even more um, solid perfume necklaces and jewelry and fill them. But let me know if you've ever tried it with real perfume and adding it to the mixture like this, or if you use essential oils or kind of what's your go-to if you've ever tried it's super easy so you can easily do it at home i'll put the ingredients below in the description box so so i'm wearing the shell necklace now and it's such a cool design i really like it and it feels like it's pretty easy to use you just take your finger and grab some of the solid perfume and then you can put it on your neck or even on your wrist so this is really fun. I'm gonna experiment a little bit more with these, but it was a super fun project and I hope you guys try it at home as well. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the big thumbs up if you like this and turn on your bell notifications. All right, I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.